Hi and uh, welcome to this video on how to move a WordPress site from one server to another. Uh, we have covered how to set up a, a WordPress site before and how to set up your databases, how to transfer a database etc. Uh, but what we're going to do here is we're going to take a full WordPress site. So at the moment we've got wpexample.tailoredmarketing.co.uk and we're going to move it to uh, what essentially could be a whole new server and a whole new URL which is wpexample2.tailoredmarketing.co.uk Okay, so basically we've just got a blank site here so uh, the first thing we want to do is log into the back end of our current site and update the two URLs, uh, WordPress URL and site URL. What this does is when we go to export our database later on, it means we don't have to go in and edit the database directly. It will already be done for us. Okay, so click Save Changes and you'll see that now it's asking us to log in again. But what it's going to do when we try and log in is it's going to try and redirect to the uh, the new site, which we don't want to do at the moment. Okay, so I have the uh, the current site and the new site FTP is both set up here. Let's just go here. So you'll see our local folder is empty, and our remote folder has all of our WordPress files in. So what we're going to do is select all and download. I'll, uh, I'll just skip through this part for you as it takes a while. Okay, now all our files are downloaded. We want to go to our new site and do the same but in reverse. So select all, right click, upload. Again, I'll skip through this part as it takes a little while. Okay, now all our files are uploaded. The next step would be to edit our WP config. So simply right click and view stroke edit. Here you'll see we've got all our old database details. So what we're going to do is copy in our new database details. And you can click on the link in the corner to see how to set up a new MySQL database in cPanel. Okay, save that. Go back to FileZilla or your FTP editor and click yes. Okay, so that's now uploaded. So if we now go to our WP example two, we'll see that WordPress is, is, is uploaded, but not yet installed. The next step is to pull up cPanel for the account that holds your database. Click on PHP My Admin, select the database that you want to export, click go. This will download an SQL file. Then you need to open up the cPanel for your new domain. In our case it's it's in the same account here. Then you need to click on PHP My Admin again, then open up the database or create the database that you want to use for your new account. So click import, drag or choose file, click go and now that has been uploaded. So if we now go to our site we'll see that wpexample2.tailoredmarketing.co.uk is all fully working. Okay the final step is to log into the admin area We need to now add a new plugin. Go to plugins, add new, and search for update URLs. And the one we want is Velvet Blues update URLs.
Once that's installed, go to Tools, Update URLs, and then we put our old address in without a trailing slash, and our new address in without a trailing slash. Tick everything except the bottom box, and click Update URLs now. You'll see here that no content items have been updated but 39 attachments. What this does is update all of the URLs in the database so that all of your pictures, links, um, in content links, etc., all point to your new URL. Okay, so as we can see, the new site is up and running on the test server. All the links work correctly, all the images work correctly, everything's working fine. Okay, thanks for watching. If you like this video, why not hit like? If not, hit dislike. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments.